released by Revelectrix. The new Revelectrix IR LiPo battery meter is designed around providing higher levels of accuracy in IR measurements, uh, consistent with the way and goals testing procedures. So the DC IR meter supports up to 6S LiPo battery packs. It has a large LCD display, comes with a plastic uh, covering around the circuit board and screen out of the box, um, and takes IR measurements up to two decimal places. So with the high level of accuracy in IR readings with this meter, Rev Electrics are calling this, not surprisingly, their honesty meter. Uh, it'll allow you to compare batteries for their true C ratings. The IR meter measures approximately 8 centimeters in length, 6 centimeters in width, and is about 2.5 centimeters in thickness. Uh, on one end there is a balance connector, and on the other, battery leads that lead to an XT60 plug. So to use the IR meter, you simply plug in the balance lead. And once you've done that, the Rev Electrics logo displays for a short moment, and then you're provided with an information screen. So I've plugged in a 6S LiPo battery. The information screen shows the individual volts per cell, typical of most battery checkers, the equivalent fuel level. These are storage charge batteries, so 50% is correct and the voltage deviation across all six cells. So whilst the IR meter comes with an XT60 plug, um, I've made a adapter cable um, that will allow me to connect the XT60 plug into my EC5 plugs which I use on my batteries. So we'll go ahead now and plug the battery power connector into the IR meter. So not a lot changes once you plug in the battery until you press the button adjacent to the balance connector. Once you do that, the individual IR readings per cell is shown. Once the IR readings are shown on the screen, the information relating to the IR values rotates between the fuel level of the battery and the IR readings continuously. One of the clever things with the IR meter is that if you try to um, command a IR reading without the battery plugged in, it gives you a warning. And if you plug the battery into the IR meter without the balance lead, um, the screen indicates the overall pack faults, but it also warns you that the balance cable is not connected. So what I'd like to show you now is a comparison between the IR readings from the Rev Electrics DC IR meter and my charging station. So I've plugged in my battery now to my case charger. So the I charger is showing the overall pack volts at about 23 volts and the individual cell volts at about 3.84 volts. Okay, so I'll put my battery into a charge cycle. And we'll flick over to the IR reading screen. The I charger now shows the individual resistance values per cell at between 2.1, 1.9, uh, right through to 1.9 on cell 6. And you can see by reconnecting the battery to the Rev Electrics IR meter that the resistance values um, are fairly comparable, plus or minus um, a very small percentage. So in my mind, my eye charger is probably providing reasonably good IR reading accuracy um, as it's fairly close to the Rev Electrics IR meter. The other thing worth mentioning about the Rev Electrics IR meter is that because the circuit boards are effectively secured via four screws, it is possible that the meter could be mounted in a case charger. Um, some care would have to be applied to avoiding the pins on one side of the meter, uh, most likely using a spacer for those of us a little bit more adventurous. So the new Rev Electrics IR meter is a great reference tool to assist you in calibrating your existing chargers or um, panel mounting in your existing charging cases.